Folks, good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster back here on this Monday, uh, March 13th, 2023. It's about uh, 5.59, almost 6 o'clock here along the West Coast and the PM, a 6.3 earthquake coming into the area right now around the Papua New Guinea area. It is in a little seismically um, noticeable absence of earthquake activity here on the globe. So um, that's, I guess that's kind of an area that we were watching here for some potential movement. Now this earthquake activity is being reported by the EMSC. I'm missing quite a bit of my seismograph stations here. Haven't been able to reload them. Uh, so I'm not seeing the signature from that specific earthquake. A lot of times I'll be able to judge um, how big that earthquake is just looking at some seismograph stations here. But for now, have to go with what's being reported. And right now the CSEM EMSC model, the European station here, reporting the 6.3 at uh, 200 kilometers deep eastern New Guinea region. Uh, let's see if the Tsunami Warning Center has the um, info up here. A lot of times those six-pointers will show up. Doesn't look like it. Uh, and right now, nothing being reported here from the USGS in regards to this earthquake. And again, I, I just don't know how big this thing is. It could be bigger, it could be smaller. Can't really tell with the lack of data here uh, on these seismograph stations. Uh, so we'll kind of wait here and uh, see what the USGS reports. Uh, looking real quick across the area, we did see some movement down into the Southern California area uh, earlier this afternoon, a 3.1 coming in on the North American side of the plate boundary. Uh, the San Andreas Fault sits right here. A little noticeable uptick here across the area over the last couple hours. That 3.1 coming in 8.8 kilometers deep. Again, just on the eastern side here of the plate boundary. That's a uh, sign. A lot of times when we'll see uh, momentum and pressure move here um, away from the plate boundary, it'll show up on these others, the uh, other fault systems throughout the region. And that's kind of what I'm um, picking out here across the area today so we'll keep an eye on southern california also the big picture up here yellowstone popping off with uh, close to 100 earthquakes over the last 24 hours this has uh i'm pretty certain this is over 20 or uh, over 100 earthquakes look at this map right here folks goodness <laughs> goodness it's been a while since we've seen something that chaotic looking on the earthquake graph here at yellowstone national park now the largest one so far i believe is a 2.9 uh, nothing big yet, not reaching up into the threes, uh, but there is quite a bit of earthquake activity kicking off here across the northwest corner of Yellowstone National Park. You can see it showing up across all the seismograph stations there. Uh, also some activity, some deeper movement quakes kicking up here into the Peru and the Argentina region. That's just been pretty active, folks, across uh, uh, almost uh, across the entire uh, plate systems out here, except for... Uh, the Java Trench here and areas up around the Kuro Kamachaka Trench really haven't seen anything significant I'm blasting off here. Uh, so once again, uh, I guess we'll go with a 6.2. It looks like it got downgraded just a little bit. That kicked up and then now we got some back building pressure here. Notice that quick adjustment. Uh, earthquake activity up here, deeper movement. Back building some quake activity up here around New Zealand with a 4.0. Now... Uh, not 100% certain if this is a legit earthquake down here in New Zealand or not. The GeoNet servers tend to... Well, this is uh, EMSC, but they get their information from the GeoNet servers here. So it could just be, potentially, like we've seen in the past, a um, error in their seismograph reading from a large earthquake. Uh, basically, the seismograph stations around the vicinity here may not be here, it could be in other areas around the plate as well, but certain ones seem to be triggered easily and it will throw out a false reading from the seismograph wave from the larger legit earthquake. So we'll keep an eye on that, see if that four pointer is legit or not. Um, let me go over to the GeoNet servers here and see what's being um, reported here. Seven minutes ago, deleted 3.5 event. Uh, at 1.55 p.m. that time, their time. 1.55. I'm wondering 
if uh, that was the three-pointer that uh, got kicked up and then deleted because I don't see the four-pointer back up here now. Notice that event deleted, and that would be a telltale sign, obviously, of a um, you know an error being sent out from that seismograph station. So uh, we'll just we'll check back on it here tonight uh, and see what's going on. Either way, that six-pointer could potentially show up, and eh, maybe not uh, on some of these seismographs. Sometimes they do if they're large enough, but I don't think it will. So, all right, six point two being reported here by the EMSC. USGS, well, <laughs> we'll wait and see what they report. Have a good day, folks. We'll be back here a little bit later on this evening with, a, of course, a complete update. Till then, stay safe out there. Have a good one.